We wanted to create an apartment that looks a little bit like a hotel. We wanted to keep things quite simple in terms of the design. Natural materials is something that really inspired us and that gave the base palette for the apartment. And it created the perfect canvas to feature all the objects that we wanted to collect. We live here with our dog, Mr. Fox. He loves to sit by the window and look around. Say hello to our new Never Too Small Essential Guide to Your Living Room, an easy to follow guide to design and improve your current small living space. Packed with expert knowledge and trade tips from our favourite architects and designers like Mariah Burton from Folk Studio, Nicholas Gurney and Jack Chen and Heidi Wong from Tsai Design. Whether you're a renter or a homeowner, and whether you're in the middle of designing your home or simply looking to make some impactful improvements, this guide contains all you need to transform your small living room into a space you will love to spend time in. Discover your own personal style, choose the right furniture for your space, be brave with DIY, make your small living room feel bigger. We will help you do it all. And the best part? You don't have to spend a fortune to make your space look amazing. The Never Too Small Essential Guide to Designing Your Living Room is the first in our Essential Guide series. Download your guide and start creating your very own Never Too Small inspired living room today. This apartment is located in the Jordan, which is a neighborhood in the center of Amsterdam. The Jordan is one of the most traditional neighborhoods in Amsterdam. It's very touristic in a way. People come to see the canals, the old houses. It's a very authentic neighborhood. And we decided to choose this apartment because it's located in the Jordan, but in a very calm area. This building is pretty old. It's from 1901. So the facade faces the street. On the back side is like most of the houses in Amsterdam where it faces a courtyard. This one is specifically special because it has a kids park with some chickens and rabbits. We designed the dining table and the dining pendant light and the rest we collected in vintage markets as the sofa, the side table, the dining chairs. That's very common in Amsterdam that you can find pretty good pieces in the street, which is quite nice. We wanted to have a place to gather objects that we collect, but also to bring our friends, family and collect memories. The apartment was a pretty standard looking Amsterdam apartment. The main thing was that the bathroom was closed off and there was no natural light coming in. We really wanted natural light, so we decided to separate the toilet and the shower and opening the shower towards the bedroom area. We also added a bathtub and a vanity in the bedroom area so that we could use that in the mornings with natural light. We removed the L-shaped kitchen in the corner and we extended it to create this open and light feeling. Upon entering the apartment, on the right, you see the kitchen, dining room and living room. The living room is really connected to the dining, so it's essentially one space, but we still wanted to have a separation in terms of use. The main item is a vintage sofa. The nice thing about the space is that you really look out the window and you get good natural light. The sofa has a metal plate on the bottom that reflects the floor and makes the illusion that the sofa is floating. Above the sofa we have a light. We can use it for reading, but if we want a more moody or atmospheric light, we can either turn it against the wall and have a soft light or also to light the painting. In the kitchen we use a travertine top that is very similar to the side table in the living room. And this was a decision in order to create a continuity of the materials in the house. And we also have beautiful handles to create a contrast with the black cabinets. 
The kitchen is fully equipped, so we have an oven and stove area, a dishwasher, and by the end of it we have our pantry and the fridge. It has a shelving above where we display a lot of kitchen items but also decorative items that we like. The highlight of the kitchen area is the pendant light that goes above the table. We design it fully in brass and underneath it we have the dining table which we specifically designed for the house. Opposite to the corridor we have the bedroom. When you enter the bedroom, on the left-hand side, you have a spacious bed. We have a big wardrobe. Our favorite part of the house is the bathtub. We like the ritual of using a bathtub. We just enjoy taking a, a bath and reading a book and really taking the best out of the spa, hotel-like experience that we wanted yeah. to create. While in the bathtub, we have views of the outside, so we can have a bath, relax, and see the sky outside. The sink has a skinny legs, so it makes it feel like it's floating in the air. Next to the mirror, we have a brass finish wall light that we found in the vintage market. We created a ledge not only to display styling items, but also to run all the piping for the vanity and the bathtub. Next to the sink, we have the shower area where we chose uh, for a Japanese handmade tile. You could place it on the floor as well because of the anti-slip characteristic. And we wanted to, again, simplify the amount of finishes that we have throughout. With the flooring, we chose to continue the parquet we had running through the house. The floor has a dark oil finish, which keeps the water away. The decision to separate the toilet from the rest of the bathroom was also thinking about guests. Bruno is a graphic designer. He was part of developing this very special wallpaper. And because it's a more outstanding style, we decided to use it in the toilet, which is a closed off space. And as you open it, it really creates this wow effect. For the curtains, which we chose to give privacy in, on both sides, as we have neighbors, um, we chose linen curtains acting as shears, so the light still goes through, but it creates privacy. On the bedroom side, in addition to the shears, we added wooden blinds. We love the effect that it creates when we leave it half open and the sun goes through. The art pieces we chose for our apartment, they are mostly from our friends, both because we love the style and fits really well to the house, but also in order to support the local artists. Upgrading existing spaces reduces the need to have new construction and create a positive impact on the environment. We can just use what is there and make it really comfortable, practical and aesthetically beautiful. Thanks for watching and if you're an architect or designer with a project we could feature, please share it with us at nevertoosmall.com slash submissions.